Welcome to the 21 Daniel Fast Tips and Truths. I'm so glad you're here. And you know what? Congratulations. There are several things that it shows about you that you are even watching this video. Number one, you love God and you want to learn more about him. You want to spend time with him so much that you're willing to enter into an extended time of prayer and fasting. Two, you want to do the Daniel fast. You're planning on doing the Daniel fast even either now or soon. And then three, you want to learn to do it correctly, to do it right. So first, this is the deal. The Daniel fast is not about the food. This is the number one tip. And the reason I consider this the number one tip is that so many people make this mistake. All you need to do is look at all the other books and all the other YouTube videos and see how many of them are focused on the food. But the Daniel Fast is not about the food. I'm Susan Gregory. I'm the best-selling author of multiple Daniel Fast books, including The Daniel Fast, Feed Your Soul, Strengthen Your Spirit, and Renew Your Body. And you can learn more about The Daniel Fast at daniel-fast.com. And like I say, this is the first of 21 tips about The Daniel Fast. So make sure if you want to learn more that you hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell and you'll receive them all. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, there is a difference between biblical fasting and health fasting. And sadly, over the years, people have combined the two for the Daniel fast, but that's not what it is about. Biblical fasting is always, always about restricting food for a spiritual purpose. Where health fasting, it's about cleansing the body. It's focusing on the body. Biblical fasting is denying the body, denying the flesh. Why do we do that? Because it is a time when we are are giving ourselves over to God. We are spending more time with Him. We are learning from Him. And it is a powerful time to learn about your life with Christ. Are you more self-focused or are you spirit-focused? One of the most valuable lessons you'll learn in the Daniel Fast, it's like a boot camp where you learn about how much you are catering to the flesh. We're all, we've all been in that place. So what does the scripture teach about this? Galatians 5.17 says, For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Think of that. So the flesh, that is that part of us that is self-focused, that part that is trained by the world, the world that is dominated, what we want when we want it. But the spirit, that is when we give up that flesh part of it. We crucify the flesh so that we can focus on and live in Christ, so that Christ can take us over. That is what this Christian walk is all about. That's what walking in the spirit is about. Galatians 6 verse 8 says, For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And I'm not just talking about when you get to heaven. Everlasting life, if you have accepted Christ as your Lord, you are already in your everlasting life. Life is life in the Spirit, life in Christ. Galatians 5.15 says, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. One of the most powerful lessons you can learn while you're on your Daniel fast is how to give yourself more over to Him so that you truly live in Christ. You experience Him. He is in you. You are in Him. You are His, and He is yours. Now, this is the truth though. 
The Daniel fast is what we call a partial fast, where some foods are allowed and other foods are restricted. So yes, there are some things that you will need to attend to about your meals, about eating. And one of the great things about the Daniel Fast, a 21-day experience, is that you can carry on your normal daily lives in so many ways, continuing to go to work or school or take care of the tasks and the responsibilities. But you're still able to nourish your body and take care of it. So what do you want to do? Create simple meals. What are some very simple meals, easy meals to prepare, simple meals that you can eat during your Daniel fast? Just simple meals. It's not the time when you go and make your Daniel fast haul or make all of, look at all the recipes I can have on the Daniel fast or delicious, luscious recipes for your Daniel fast. It's like, what? What? No. Make simple meals. Cook in batches. So you make big pots of soup or big casseroles, foods that you can eat in several meals for lunches and dinners and then have a few simple breakfast meals. And then watch yourself and learn. See what's going on with you. Are you really struggling because you can't have that cup of coffee or that chocolate bar or that hamburger, all those things that are not allowed on the Daniel fast? Watch yourself because like I say, you will, this is one of the most powerful lessons that you will learn during your fasting experience. So be blessed on your fast. This is a time when you are coming together with God. You are joining God on a personal retreat, going away on this personal retreat where all of who you are is put on alert, your spirit, your soul, and your body, so that you can spend this time, this highly focused time, in your faith. Now, if you want to learn more, go ahead and go visit daniel-fast.com. You'll see what you can eat. You'll learn more about simple meals and much more. But this is an amazing time for you to be with your Lord. And I can tell you, that's when you will experience the great miracles, the great growth, and the great revelations that he gives you when you choose to walk in the Spirit and deny the flesh. Blessings to you. Come back for the next tips.